behind, making it more dangerous for our spaceships and our satellites to move around. The good news, we can clean it up. In the heart of Tokyo, just a few miles away from this park, on a quiet street, one company is trying to make space a little safer by making it a little cleaner. Imagine space for a second. It looks something like this, right? Not quite. According to space wizards like this guy, hi Tim, this is more like it. A world surrounded by broken satellites, old rockets and spaceship fragments, and, well, just junk. You wouldn't believe there are thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces of space debris up there. Over 170 million pieces, according to some estimates. Some are big, others small, most are really small. The small one is like a paint flex. But don't let size fool you. In space, the smallest thing can have a catastrophic impact. Those flecks move at an average of 40,000 kilometers an hour. And when they hit, they hit with the force of a hand grenade. Imagine that times 170 million. Naoko Yamazaki, Japan's second female astronaut, has seen the impact of this stuff firsthand. If the space debris size is bigger than one centimeter, less than a dime, it will go through the structure. So it is a risk. That means dime-sized debris could destroy a spaceship. But junk isn't just a problem for astronauts. It impacts everyone on Earth, too. Intelligence gathering, electric grids. Just look at the GPS on your phone. That's why Mickey wants to make space clean again. Step one, map the mess. Agencies like NASA track the big trash. But right now, no one's really looking out for the small pieces. While Satellite 1 maps the small stuff, Satellite 2, nicknamed Elsa D, will sweep up the big stuff. Really? Just magnets? Mickey's team will launch the satellite as close to the selected piece of junk as possible. Special cameras and sensors will get even closer, and magnets will do the rest. Then, it'll be all programmed to come back to Earth where it'll burn up on re-entry. Or, as the Astroscale CEO puts it, Our satellite will go suicide, yes. If all goes according to plan, Astroscale will send the first demo sweeper up in 2019. And from there, companies can hire their own ELSA to sweep up whatever might be in their way. Big international agencies, like the European Space Agency, have also started developing ideas to clean up space. But Astroscale is the world's first private company giving it a try, because it believes we will become ever more dependent on space. Someday, you know, people will probably go to Mars or more further place. And let's not forget space tourism. But uh, if you, you know, you want to go to the farther beyond the Earth, we have to clear that crowded area to minimize the risk. Good luck.